Welcome to the Supplement Engineer Podcast. My name is Robert Chnetsky. As you know, every Thursday we are blessed to have Justin from Supplement Snoop for our weekly recap of all things industry, news related, and product reviews, ingredient explainers, and answering questions that you, the lovely fans, have submitted to us throughout the week. So, welcome back, my friend. Yeah, man. I think we could probably just spend this whole episode just recapping the podcast we did the other day. <laughs> Based I'm on the still, uh, initial feedback, like it was uh, that was one of our best ones yet, and it was kind of cool. That was episode number 50 of the podcast. So, uh, Oh, nice. We, uh, we had a really good mark with that. The podcast turned one year old uh, back in mid-September. Um, so, uh, wow. yeah, it's been a, an exciting year. Uh, you've been a big part of helping grow it. So uh, thank you first and foremost for all that. Thank you to the listeners that tune in every week to listen to us yap about whatever happens in the industry. And uh, if you want to continue to see us keep doing this and bring on higher profile guests, please go leave a review. Stop the podcast right now. Go leave a review on iTunes, Google, wherever you want to do that. Um, I don't like to shamelessly plug for these things, but you know, reviews do count for something and help increase the visibility of the podcast. And I'm not a very good self-promoter in and of itself, so this is the 30-second uh, spiel for doing that. So go leave a mm-hmm. review right now. Tell them you love us, and uh, this will help get the podcast in more supplement consumers' inboxes. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, you, you're 100% right, too. We just had this conversation the other day because I don't read reviews on anything anymore because it, it's bullshit. So, right. uh, you know, but other people do. So, uh, you know, I was talking to Prady. I was like, you know, I, I should probably ask people that have downloaded the app to leave reviews because we what we always get is people that never actually download it or the one that leave reviews because they're like, well, you're charging money, like, I hate your guts, like, kind of thing. <laughs> and they never actually use it. So as much as I just don't care about reviews, also realizing that it actually still is a huge part of the deal. Um, so I got to do the same type of thing, like, ask for it. Because people, usually when people like stuff, man, you just you just enjoy it and you go about your business. You don't. It's when people don't like it, that's when they'll go leave the review because they get all fired up and that's their way of getting back at you is to leave a review. And that's why I'm like, I don't even read that shit. Cause I'm like, what am I supposed to do with someone that leaves a negative review for the app that says you're stealing my data or I've determined without using it that it's not worth the price. So I was like, well, what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? That can't help that. Like if it was something that we did that we can fix, then that's one thing. But some people are just, uh, people, people are crazy, man. But yep. We did have a really good podcast the other day. I I, um, I know we get a lot of people that listen to this every week, so I think it's cool, man. I think uh, it's crazy when we, we were just talking the other day, um, my wife and I, about last October, we went down to, or we went up to Natural Body Inc. for the mm-hmm. first time and met like Tim and them up there and how close we are with them now. And we went there for the... Uh, olympus labs uh protein launch and we hung out with i met eddie for the first time from muscle players and we hung out at olympus labs for a little bit and it's just like man so much has changed in the last year (laughs) it's insane so it's pretty cool man you can do a lot in one year i mean and a year goes by pretty fast yeah it's scary to see how how much has changed in a year and how certain things have still stayed the same more or less It's weird that, you know, so much can happen, but it doesn't seem like that much has happened. But when you look back, a ton of stuff actually has transpired in the industry. We've seen, you know, the acquisitions of two major protein bar brands. We've seen the continued uh, pouring out of all things CBD and keto across the industry. And we'll get there in a little bit. Yes, we will get to that. (laughs) But uh, let's start off with... uh, some good news first so you said you've been test driving some new products this week so uh give us the yeah. rundown yeah i got some cool stuff and i know because i mentioned this i think like i got it all basically like last thursday yeah basically when we were talking about um this podcast so i man i got a lot of cool stuff i ordered king of pumps from chemix um accent sledge sent me their new pre-workout their extreme stim that's not really an extreme stim but it's still a good stim product um is that the hwmr hrmw or some, some four letter acronym that's that's the flavor okay it's called seventh gear seventh gear gotcha um i chris from inspired sent me fsu and i've already bought two more tubs of it because i love it <laughs> that much <laughs> um earth nutri have you dived in, delved in earth nutri besides what i've told you 
I've looked at some of their stuff, but I have not reached out to them directly to uh, line up getting somebody from the company on the podcast. They're cool people. They um, their formulas are killer, but they sent me their post workout, mm-hmm. which is a stinking beast of a product. Um, I just tried that today. Um, what else did I get? Give us a rundown of what's in their post workout. If you got it handy. Yeah, it's like everything, man. Um, where is the label? What did I do with it? Right back. Sure thing. Actually. I'm assuming it's kind of one of the, all of those all-inclusive ones like Post Gym or Nutribio Reload or the uh, Apollo and Enigma, one of those kind of all-inclusive kind of uh, post-workout formulas. That's yeah, got all your got, daily gain stuff in it. They sent me an energy and focus one that's really cool too that I think you'll, you'll like. So post-workout, they go with a lot of the, um, you know, licensed ingredients. Mm-hmm. So they got Instaminos from Compound. Right, I got six grams of BCAs, um, three grams of sustamine, the LNL glutamine. So yep, that's an expensive right, ass ingredient too. Yeah, we're kind of on the fence, you know, when it comes to glutamine, but that's a really good form. But usually, you see hundreds of milligrams. Right. So uh, three grams of creatine, pure creatine monohydrate, um, two grams carnosine, two grams carnipure, carnitine tartrate. Um, another expensive there ingredient. Yeah, there's not uh, <clears throat> there's not a patented version of betaine, I don't think. So they use they do all their own manufacturing too, which is cool. That's why they provide us all their test reports. Oh, that is um, cool. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, they're 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 big bigger deal than I thought. Um, high purity betaine anhydrase, two grams. Uh, Pico two two grams, five hundred milligrams KSM ashwagandha. Which I thought was cool because, you know, you and I have been discussing using adaptogens and things like that post-workout. Mm-hmm. Um, they got 100 milligrams spectra, 50 milligrams of actogen, which I think is a cool addition, and biopurine. So, it's a beast. Lots of good stuff. Uh, going back yeah. to the betaine, there is one yeah. patented form of betaine I found. It's called Beta Power. It's the one oh, that's yeah, in a yeah. recaged or post-cage or whatever Chris Gathens, uh post-workout is called. Yeah, that's, that's the right. only other one. But that that brings me up to my first point. I was going to ask you about as a consumer, do all of those trademarked ingredients do anything for you? Because we have we know that they have generics of all of those. So obviously, KSM is enough to move the needle for me as far as a trademarked ingredient. But for something like carnosin versus regular beta alanine, creoport pure versus regular creatine monohydrate, that doesn't really move the needle much for me one way or the other. Um, right. Yeah. I would agree. I think there is certain times, uh, a lot of companies, it seems to me, it's just like, uh, a personal choice of theirs, uh, where they feel more comfortable knowing, you know, there's that. And we've talked to like Prady about this. Prady brought up a good point. A lot of times he goes, he's like, I just don't understand sometimes when supplement companies they're, they're right. You're thinking about the consumer, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're the company, and you're buying these ingredients, don't you want to know like you're getting your money's worth kind of too? And that seems to be when I've talked to Earth Nutri people, they're awesome, Um, super engaged, um, really nice people. They, that's the the vein that they follow is we just want to make sure we'll, we'll suck the cost, you know, we'll take the hit. Mm -hmm. um, If it means we can just have a little bit of, um, stability there at the end and then if they don't feel that it's really necessary or the price just makes too much of a difference then i know they said you know hey is it the end of the world no but just for security measures because there's a lot of companies too like i think like what you're getting at companies will use the licensed version as just sort of a smoke and mirrors kind of thing yeah window dressing on the label right so they but if you just look at their it's why like sometimes i say like if you look at a product also look at other formulas, say within their line, to see is this a trend? Is this just something they sort of believe in? Because um, like if you look at all their products, their pre workout, this energy focus that they sent me to, it, it's all they're going big dosages, licensed ingredients, um, big formulas. 
I'm gonna pull up their. I want to see what they how their pricing is just uh based off of their website, just to see how much that might be adding to their their cost of goods. So their post workout on their website is sixty five dollars. That is. Yeah, and I don't know if they're one of those companies. You know how a lot of them do, because it's right twenty four servings. Yeah. So they, you know, these companies that do their websites are big you know there's big discounts and stuff like that too so i hate that where it's like you have to add a whole nother layer of what's the actual price you know at the end of the day so it's kind of weird correct but yeah they're not cheap they're not cheap uh from what i've seen no i'll pull up their uh their pre-workout now since you just mentioned that is it the dave henry one or just the regular pre-workout supplement yeah i think uh, i think that's the same thing um, okay. They just made like a David Henry for the Olympia version gotcha. with him on there. But I think it's the same product. Enhanced. So we got 3 grams of Crea Pure Creatine Monohydrate, 2.2 grams of Cetria Performance Blend, which is uh, glutathione and uh, L-citrulline. And that's the one that they use to enhance citrulline, um, where they can use less citrulline and it that's the study there. Yeah, there is that what they found study, out, yeah. what, Well, what they told me was, <laughs> they're like, it kind of backfired because they're like, well, we can use this as a benefit to the consumer, but what people still want to see is they want to see six grams of citrulline. They would rather see six grams of citrulline on there than, they're like, well, it's cheaper for us anyway, but we want, <laughs> so it was kind of like one of those things where I think they were trying to help, but people rejected it because they're not comfortable enough with it. Yeah, I, I would like to see more data come out because I'm sure there's only, like most of these, these patented ingredients, there's only one or two studies that show that it's demonstrated. And usually that's the, it's the company, so it, it's right. Kiowa quality that's providing the funding for these studies. So are the researchers a little bit more inclined to get favorable results so they keep getting funding from these people? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> is there any, is Cetria maybe leaning on them for a positive outcome or to, to run the numbers a different way? I'm not saying they are, but these are all things that you need to consider when you see when you see that um, a, a company funded study or you know an industry funded study shows positive effects. At the same yep. time, we've rehashed this a thousand times that the NIH and the FDA and the federal government and all those bodies are not just willingly shelling out big bucks for supplement research. So it's a give and Somebody's take. Do it. Yeah, exactly. Somebody has to do it. The money has to come from somewhere. So you just don't always take one study and say, oh, it's proven. It's, it works 100% of the time. Just take everything with a grain of salt and realize that each piece of research we're seeing about in a single ingredient, it would be great if we had 100 more studies showing us the exact same thing. But each thing is just a piece of evidence one way or the other in favor or against something. It's not a definitive yes or no about it unless you've got something like maybe something like L-carnitine where the vast majority of the research shows that it's not really that all that beneficial, the regular L-carnitine form, not the Alcar or LCLT forms. Right. And I think that's just another thing too, where um, people want the quick answer, but there very rarely is one. It's like, you just sort of have to assemble this stuff, like pieces of a puzzle. Okay. Look at the formulas, what kind of studies, how does the company interact with say on their social media? How are they, do they provide third party tests? And it's like, all of a sudden you can start to put together a little bit more clear because there's always going to be some sort of ambiguity in there where you're you, you're left with some kind of questions or it's like okay but if we add up everything how do we feel you know kind of at the end and that's just what we try to do with let's start with knowing the ingredients because this whole it's just i wish it was as simple as hey man tell me a good product to use it's like wow yeah there, there's what's your caffeine tolerance what are you looking for do you like more focus do you like pumps do you kind of want everything do you want a product that contains all of your creatine and all of your ergogenics in it because they have those, you know, the, those premium like Rolls Royce type formulas or you have just something that some people want everything in a scoop so they don't have to buy 16 other different su supplements to satisfy all of their daily needs. Or some people just want the stim bomb and they'll, they'll deal with getting their creatine from somewhere else. Um, right. So it's, well, they, it's, that's why there's not always a, a one size fits all answer to every question, unfortunately. Right. And they did something with the, um, this is one of the things that caught my attention because I've actually brought this up a lot of times. You know how it's like we get these ingredients and the buzzword hits, like Agmatine is one of them. Agmatine pump ingredients. Like, well, that's not that's not the end of the story, right? Correct. Um, also, Pico two. I've been I've been saying this for a while. Pico two has become like the VO two max ingredient, the endurance ingredient. But I'm like, 
if you just break Pico 2 apart, you've got Lion's Mane, you've got Cordyceps, you have all these cool things in there that do different things, like Lion's Mane with, uh, you know, neuroprotective things. Mm -hmm. So they were one of the ones that said the same thing. They have this um, energy and focus blend, and it's pretty cool. And they, they have two more grams of Pico 2. They're big Pico 2 fans, apparently. And uh, they were kind of along the same lines. They're like, well, if it's got things like you know, lion's mane and other adaptogens, like that's, that's not just an endurance thing. That's a mental, um, you know, it can be a mental boost too. It's a pretty cool formula. Again, acetylcarnitine, HEL, two grams, tyrosine, two grams, Pico2, two, two grams, alpha size, 600, cognizant, pure calf, sea cream. Damn. Yeah. I just pulled this up and it's a, uh, wow. That's a, uh, they deliver too, man. That, that's they a loaded deliver. formula. Their pre workout for 250 milligrams, I think it's 250 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. It is as energetic a 250 milligram caffeine product as I've ever had in my life. So I, just, I just was looking at that a second ago. It's also got 75 each of a dynamine and teacrine. What I'm curious is that it, it's not listed as the 40% version, so I'm guessing they're using the raws. Um, mm. So, I mean, that I, I'm always on the fence about dynamine. I've I tend to lean more towards the side of I don't get much from it, but maybe I just haven't found it in the right dose along with the right amount of caffeine and teacrine. I I don't know. I know, it, well, I know it's a bitch to flavor like teacrine is, and it's expensive, but that's that's about it. That's what's been kind of the pain in the ass for me is like when it's become the popular thing to put caffeine, dynamine, and teacrine in the same thing, but then I it's harder for me like um, – our one friend, Mark, he, he made, made a pre-workout that just had dynamine in it. And I started using some standalone dynamine. I, I like it. But it's like once you start getting all three of those things in there, depending on dosages, it just seems to me where things get a little confusing. And it actually gives me a weird, a weirder feeling sometimes when I have all three in there. Like, like it can't figure – almost like a brain fog-ish type feeling when you have too much you know, acetylcholine or something like that where it's like – it makes you feel where it's like, I don't, like they can't, they're fall fighting, you know, for the same thing. It seems like sometimes, and it's like, I don't know. I don't yeah, always yeah, have yeah. the best experience. You feel lazy almost is the reaction I had. Cause primeval released mega pre black over a year ago. And I th it's been replaced by red now. And that thing had something like it yielded 120 or 130 dynamine. And it also had 375 caffeine in it. That's about as big as you're going to get. Yeah. And I tried using, you know, a half scoop or once because it was one of those two scoops as a full serving kind of products. Like everybody does the 20, 40 servings now. Um, and I tried doing like a scoop and a half and then I did one scoop and I did two scoops one day. And each time it must be that that ratio of caffeine to uh, dynamine because every time I took it, it just left me feeling flat or almost tired. Mm, um, yeah, that's not good. No. Whereas I take the Iron Brothers... <laughs> Uh, their pre-workout and theirs has dynamine in it too and it's got 275 caffeine i don't remember how much dynamine's in it but that thing lights me up from like a yeah a neuro that's standpoint. exactly the product i was thinking about yeah that's what i figured when product. you said mark yeah, yeah. It's like, it, man. it feels great i love it yeah and i uh i sent the flavorings really good on it too i sent mark a message last week i had i only i put a full serving in my shaker and i took like i drank maybe half of it and i, I sent him i said dude i know i've told you before this thing tastes phenomenal but that my brain is on fire right now. I mean, it's I, I once they down. I wrote like a three thousand word article in like an hour and a half. It was just <laughs> one of those where you get in that zone and you just go. Um, so whatever else is in there, maybe it's the same amount. Wh whatever relation of Hooperzine is in there too, could be synergizing with the caffeine and the uh, dynamine. I'm not sure, but that's that's just a a, a monster pre workout. So I'm, you know, props to them on on creating that one. Yeah, and he, uh, Mark Hughes is a really good manufacturer, too. Like, obviously, we, that's, you know, a lot of talk about who manufactures your products. Right. For whatever reason, but I know he uses a really good one. Uh, that they, you know, when you start to trace back, sometimes I'll meet manufacturers and you start to get pry some information out of them and what brands and stuff. All of a sudden, you start to see some trends like, oh, this, this place. Yeah. And then you start to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why is it that these guys, their DMHA or their dynamine or their, you know, uh, so you know, you know how that yeah, goes. Yeah, that's why, because I, I, I took a pre-workout today. I will not name the, the company. Um, but I What's took up with it that? Today, huh? well, I mean, you know, it's, 
we, we deal with a lot of people, and I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt. Um, but, but this is for, this is all the after hours special. I'll, I'll reveal the name on the after hours special. But I took gotcha. it, and it it left me with a flat feeling. Like I, I, I it, it contained three hundred plus of caffeine, and I got nothing from it. And I took this at like ten in the morning, mm. um, and I woke up at six thirty like I normally do. Nothing. I mean, I it, it made me not mm. want to work out. It was one of those kind of feelings. One of those days, and I just still dragged myself in there and did it, um, just because I knew. Sucks. Yeah, it's I hate that feeling when that happens and it's it's the second time it's happened with this product and I'm I'm just ready to be done with it, I think. I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to write it off unfortunately. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. It's a bummer especially too when you uh you know, you see enough labels and you have enough experience and then you you take something and you're like, "Man, I just don't get it." You're looking at it going, "I can't explain why you're not why you're not working for me." Yeah. Um back to this energy and focus formula with Earth Nutri. Something that stands out that's really cool is that they're using both forms of choline. So they got the alpha size and the cognizant, which I think is awesome. It's it's rare that we see a nootropic powder with both of those ingredients in there. Um, yep. The caffeine's yep. a bit higher than I, w- I would like for a nootropic, but I would easily use that as a, a pre-workout instead. Yeah, I think uh, I've talked to a lot of people that really like this product too. That's what they seem to be doing it with. Like it is more of a pre-workout esque product. Yeah, they just they do cool stuff. They um they have a neat um sort of multivitamin type product. You can just tell when companies sort of do some extra homework. Like they mm-hmm. it's a vitamin K2, D3, and then they use aquamine, you know, with the calcium and magnesium. And it's like it if you just read, you know, some I mean you know like the, the relationship between those those minerals and those ingredients, how they, they help each other out. So it's yep. like it's just kind of refreshing when you see a simple formula like that, but put together in a way that you know you're getting the most out of it. So how is the flavoring with all those nootropics in there and the teacrine? So I will say this, they're I know a while back when I first started talking to them, um, their flavorings are pretty rough. <laughs> I mean, like the pre-workout was really bad. Um, I tried this, uh, the post-workout that they just did. It was like candy apple. It actually was pretty good. Um, shockingly enough, there's a lot going on in there. But I have not, they they made a new flavor of this energy and focus, this lychee blast. They sent me a sample of it when they were working on it. It was actually pretty good. So they seem to be, um, like they had the formulas down pat. Now they're working more on the flavor mm-hmm. flavor aspect of it, which is, I guess if we're going to start somewhere, I would prefer make a killer formula first and then flavor it later. Kind of yeah, neutral bio. Always go back with with flavoring and tweak. But yeah, focus, devote your energy energies initially to uh, creating a quality product. You can always tweak flavoring uh, afterwards, but start with something that's decent. Yeah, yeah, they do, yeah, they do that. That's cool stuff. I like uh, I like talking about them. I like they're uh, especially like I said with them. Um, giving us their third-party test. Every time they run a batch, they send us test reports. It's an ongoing thing. It wasn't like a one-time deal, which is pretty cool. Sweet. Um, you tried FSU from Chris and Inspired. How is the flavoring on that? We've talked about that formula to death and how it attacks pumps from you know multiple pathways, but how's the uh, the flavoring on it? Because I saw him talking up a big game about how the amino flavoring is coming along. The flavoring is, is awesome. I will say... He sent me some samples uh, of flavors just to get my opinion on flavors. Mm-hmm. And the one that they dropped uh, is called Orange County. It was the sample was possibly the best tasting supplement I, I've like ever had. That was any sort of legitimate sort of formula. Huh. But now when we got I got the ma- final manufactured version, it's yeah. not as good, but it is still interesting. It's still damn good <laughs> like the flavor is on point i have not tried the uh sour gummy one but i ordered both i ordered both tubs so they should be here i think uh Same probably time. early next week either well, i'm going out of town for a couple of days this week so i won't get them until early next week but gotcha yeah that product is a beast man that's a beast i love that product <laughs> yeah do you think the uh, the non-stem products as a whole, because we've kind of seen a resurgence with non-stem pump products, and we got we touched on this a little bit on Tuesday with Nick. Um, do you ever think that non-stems can compete with stem-based products, or do you ever see them 
becoming the the more go to for people? No, but actually, in a way, I hope not, because then that means that we've lost the the STEM battle with the FDA. You know what I mean? Yep. Because it's like I, I just there's so much cool stuff. There's so many cool like stimulants you can use, safe stimulants. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we hit on that a ton the other day about. Uh, about safety and i mean it's like i would just hate to see it, it, it's cool to have stim free options but i just don't see that ever unless we're forced to give up basically all of our stims um yeah. i don't see it ever taking over i don't think people are i don't think they should i don't think they should i think it's cool that people like to train without stimulants and stuff like that but there's nothing wrong with stimulus. I mean, caffeine is the most proven freaking supplement there is when it comes to performance. So, Agreed. Um, yeah, I hope not. I hope not. But I, I don't think people are – people want caffeine, man. They want stimulants. Yeah. All right. We've spent a good 30 minutes talking good things so far on the podcast. Let's uh, spend Uh-oh. this next little chunk descending into the, the shithole that is the recent product releases that we've seen come across Stack 3D. Now, this in no way is – us saying that Shane or Stack 3D is shit. We're saying the new products oh, yeah. that are being shown on the stream. Shane and the company guys there do a hell of a job keeping up with all the product releases over For there. Sure. Um, they so can only talk about what, talk about make, what these companies what I mean? are releasing. And it is, the past week has been... Though, Shane can control the fact that the big advertisement at the top of it is Clear Muscle from Muscle Tech, which is a totally bullshit product. It's been debunked. And it's a game-changing muscle-building formula advertisement right at the top of Stacked. So that he can control, but we won't talk about that. Very think, true, uh, yeah. If you, if you want to hear more about that uh, the, uh, that game-changing ingredient, go look up Jacob Wilson and the shenanigans he pulled to get the positive results on that. Uh, it, was like they, it, it was like they were, people were gaining like 47 pounds of muscle in like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my God, okay. Um, so anyway, other than that. Yeah, I see. Um, I see a lot of fuckery on this front page of of Stack today. Yeah, beginning with our the redheaded stepchild that we've been beating like crazy the past couple of weeks. Uh, Parform, which is a uh, golf supplement company, a golf centered f- supplement company, uh, really? launches a CBD gum. What? I don't get it. Why? Where does a golf sports nutrition brand? I've never heard of them. I haven't either. They must be new. I don't know if, if Tiger Woods is sponsoring them or Rory McIlroy or one of those guys. Oh, my God. I don't know. But I guess this is when you're on the, the 18th green and you're going for the missing putt and you, you got the little jitters right there because you don't want to screw up. So you pop a piece of the CBD gum and you get your nerves all chilled and then you can make that game-winning putt and uh, get the green jacket to go. Man, CBD gum. Man. You get a whopping 10 milligrams of CBD isolate per piece. Which, as we've said before, how do you know the actual the, the bioavailability of CBD isolate is not great in and of itself? Uh, and then you put it in the gum, right? So how are you going to absorb? I mean, I, I, there's going to be some absorption through the the mouth and the saliva and all of that stuff. I just sure. we've got no data whatsoever to, on the effects of of CBD gums and its absorption kinetics, how it's how long it takes to reach peak levels in the blood, if it even works at all. Uh, and I don't see 10 milligrams doing much of anything it's a little disconcerting yeah yeah that's but people will buy it i mean i saw this my parents uh my mom gets test products all the time from these different consumer reports groups or something like that and she sent me this thing she said i got something called a nootropic gum and she sent me the the supplement facts panel on it Mm -hmm. and it had something like 80 milligrams of theanine and 40 milligrams of caffeine in it and that was it. That was that was the the nootropic of the gum. It was a two to one ratio of very low doses of theanine and caffeine. I'm thinking you're you're gonna get that much in like a cup of green tea. Do, do this. Right, and it's gum for crying out loud. Yeah. Like, how do we know? How do we know what what you're actually getting? Well, I saw also that our friends over at Extend decided to go full bore and make in extend BCA keto energy <laughs> version. Yes, this steaming turd was uh, something that we came across, what was it, three or four days ago that we got the, the alert about it? Yep. 
Yeah, six grams of Go BHB, three, or it's their two on run uh, dosing of BCA, so seven grams of BCAs in total, and 125 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous and their delayed release caffeine microsphere. So we don't even know how much of each form of caffeine we're getting. I would guess maybe 75, 50, or 125, maybe 100. Yes, 125. Uh, 100, uh, I, uh, I, I mean, I just don't even know what to say at this point. It's just they're they're just waving it in our faces that yeah, they they're, can they're get pe- they can the get people to buy anything. Yeah, it's this is real. This is a really really bad product. The the six grams of uh, DHB salts aren't going to really do shit. Uh, the seven grams of BCAAs are also going to bump up insulin levels a little bit too. Uh, so. Plus, you're going to be negating the benefits of keto once you do that. So then your body's going to be burning the BHBs. Then it's got to burn through the BCAAs. Then it might go on back to producing its own ketones, provided that you're even in ketosis in the first place. So this is just another one of those dumb keto products that doesn't exist, but it's there to purely capitalize on the fact that it's called keto. Well, and then, well, all right. So we got about four grams of filler ingredients, too. I guess that's not as bad as I expected. I was going to say, too, I don't know. I just hate them. I hate everything that they do. And I think, right, they're just trolling everyone at this point. I think well, they're just trolling. 60 bucks a tub, so it's $3 per scoop. There's only 20 right. servings in the tub. It is $60 per tub. So, and that's, that's more expensive than that post-workout uh, formula that we just talked about with Earth Nutri. Yeah, where you're getting 12 times as many ingredients. All right, so and you know what, man, I'm having trouble. I wanna, I want to, um, you know, not be all negative about what's on stack, but I'm not. Did you see this pl- this place with their controlled release creatine? Uh, where is that? Crea oh, Crea Phase Four Plus. Yeah, it's a UK brand, I think. Or yeah, an Italian so gonna, brand. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna make more. Uh, more expensive creatine for no reason. Um, yeah, and along fast. those lines, I saw the first flavored crealkaline was coming out, and I'm thinking, how is crealkaline still a thing? I don't know. Fuck those guys. You know what, man? Here's the other thing, too. So, okay, if you're going to take, um, say, creatine, like pre-workout or something like that, like, why do you want controlled release uh, creatine? What's, the, what's that mean? Like, what's – if you want to load it up for – for your workout or you want to replenish it why why do we need to control the release of it i don't get it yeah there's no there all the studies show that creatine monohydrate is highly bioavailable it's going to all get absorbed you don't need to space out the uptake of it or anything like that right. take your three to five grams a day save yourself a lot of money because this is 65 dollars a bottle for about a month's supply um don't please don't waste your money on this people it's crazy. Yeah, it's absurd. I mean, creatine. And they don't even... Do they actually absurd. say if it's creatine monohydrate, though? I don't see on here if it is. Korea Fast gastro-resistant tablets. Uh, yeah, don't... The idea behind time-releasing creatine is it leads to more optimized uptake of the ingredient and ensures your muscles. If there's anything that actually doesn't we don't have to worry about with creatine is the uptake of the ingredient and the ensure insurity that your muscles fully absorb it like we don't have to worry about that right it's so. not like turmeric or curcumin or any of that shit it is highly bioavailable <laughs> and rapidly taken so right that that actually might that product actually might piss me off more than the extend one to be perfectly honest with you yeah because that's just you're taking creatine again and for no reason we're going to jack up the price tag on it. I, I did notice something else very curious. Oh, Mike Please, Rashid's uh, I'm So Alpha pre-work. I just got a bump. Isn't Mike Rashid? Yeah, I'm Rashid of I'm So Alpha. Yeah, it's this is a bad, bad formula. Really? Mike Rashid's got his own line? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'm So Alpha. This is a uh, – I remember this This line has been out oh, for wait. a while. Oh, it's, I'm I'm literally looking at it right now. I didn't know that – Yeah. oh, yeah, okay. I'm looking at this is the product that I was just going to mention to you because I'm looking at this pile of shit going, man, this is bad. Yeah, this is all right. So, for those of you not uh, 
scrolling through Stack 3D as Justin and I are at this time, or you don't want to look it up. We start out with a, uh, it is 10 grams serving size, 30 servings per container. The first it blend is a 3 gram crop blend, the an alpha anti-fatigue blend of betaine anhydrous, glycosiamine, glucoronolaclone, guanidinopropionoic acid, and L-citrulline malate. So for starters, clinical dose of citrulline malate is 6 to 8 grams. The clinical dose of betaine is 2.5 grams. So you were, you're not getting... Arginine AKG. Yeah, we've got a gram and a half of arginine AKG, which is, we'll say, conflicted at best in, in the research, whether it's effective you, or not. What do you think that 90 milligrams of cluster dextrin does? It's a filler to prevent caking, but they're going to take advantage of the, the name cluster dextrin for its high-performance carbohydrate benefits. So I, I'm a big fan of Ambrosia Collective just all the way around. Yeah. Uh, Mike's a good guy. like Mike a lot, but... Uh, I'm not surprised that they didn't send this one over to me. To <laughs> yeah. This is a pile of shit. Yeah, the Alpha Energy Blend is a 1.625 gram proprietary blend of beta-alanine, taurine, N-acetyl, L-tyrosine, which we've been over that before. That's the inferior form of L-tyrosine. And then there's 50 micrograms, micrograms of venpocetine when the clinical doses are that are 10 milligrams to 30 milligrams. I don't have a lot of experience with that one. Uh, you, you do? Yeah, I like it. I've got a, a bottle back there in the pantry from when I bought it. Um, yeah, I've never used a standalone. Yeah, it's it's good. It, it's one of those highly stackable nootropics that kind of flies under the radar. So it increases uh, oxygen blood flow to the brain. So you'll get, you know, you you get a little bit of a mental stim effect from it if you're somebody that is just kind of naturally alert. Taking that, I would say, will mimic the effects of caffeine for me, at least in, in terms of that mental awakening that you get. Um if you take a really high dose, you might get a little bit of a headache. So if you take 30 gram, milligrams of it and you're not used to using it, um, you might get a little bit of a headache from it, from the blood rush to your head. Uh, mm. But overall, I really like it. Um, it, 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 it stacks really well with acetyl-L-carnitine, uh, a cup of coffee. It'll be really good if you want to try out with that. But start off you know, 10 milligrams and dose it one or two times a day and, and go from there. Not 50 micrograms? Correct. Not 50 micrograms. I mean, that's a really... That's a disturbingly bad pre-workout. Yeah, $40 for 30 servings. It is, it's a really, really, really bad formula. And this is depressing. Um, what do we got on next page? Sam's Club gets 50 serving version of muscle text amino bill. I'll look great. Five grams of BCAAs in there. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, can't even deal with them. Uh, campus Proteins pre-workout. I don't really think... Campus Protein, I don't have um, experience with them. I got some mixed feelings from what I've come across um, with them, I don't, but I don't really know much about them because there were some things that they I got into it with them the one day because they tried to pull that bullshit where they said, I think it was their pre-workout. They mm -hmm. said, well, you know, it's more of a beginner pre-workout. I was like, don't say that. I was like, that's code for it's underdose of shit. I was like... There's there's dosages that create benefits and dosages that don't. And it's like it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or not. And they I just I went off and they never responded. So Yeah, I'll run down the uh, profile for all the listeners. So we get one point five grams of creatine monohydrate, one point two grams of carnosine beta alanine, eight hundred milligrams of L arginine, five hundred milligrams of betaine, four hundred and fifty milligrams of L citrulline. 280 of milligrams of tyrosine, 250 milligrams of choline bitartrate, 250 milligrams of caffeine, 220 milligrams of taurine, and 2.5 milligrams of huperzine A1%, which will be 250 micrograms of huperzine. So the only two things in this formula that are going to be doing a damn bit of good are the caffeine and the huperzine. Outside of this, the regular rest of the formula is a steaming dog turd. That makes... The um, Amso Alpha pre workout looked like something from Morphogen. Yeah. <laughs> Man. And look at all the five star reviews on this. Love the flavor. It gets me going. This is amazing. This yeah, is... those those campus protein guys are it's like a cult over there from what I've seen. So I don't I don't associate with them. I actually know one of like their ambassadors. It's a he's super super good dude. And then I know another one that I I detest very much. Yeah. So. 
I don't think I, I just never see that. And then you hear stuff like that. It's like, hey, fuck yourself. You guys suck. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, well, we'll make it affordable for you. Like you're literally, and this is the part. All right. I'm going to rant. This is the part that I hate about that bullshit where they talk, start, start talking about budget and, oh, it's for college kids and stuff like that. It's like, no, you dumb dickheads. You can literally take an eighth of a scoop of a Nutribio pre-workout and get more out of it than you can in your pile of shit pre-workout. So fuck you with your budget stuff. Like you can literally take something, you can turn a Nutribio or a Morphogen, you can turn it into a 300 serving pre-workout and get a better deal than you fuck boys. So that's yeah. how I feel about that. Yeah, it is a, that, that formula is garbage. It's, it's a that rip off Nick. to the consumer. That was like Nick, Nick inspired me to <laughs> do that. Fuck those guys. Yeah, that is a, a horrible, horrible formula. Uh, consumers out there, please don't buy that. That's a, a terrible product. Caffeine is decently dosed. And the I hate that excuse. Is, like, yeah. oh, it's a, for budget or for this. No, it's not. No, I mean, C4 is a better budget pre workout than that thing is. All right. It's like at least if you, you get take a little a, bit of nitrates in there. Jesus. Right. And I see we got a, a CBD beverage drink. And 25 and have, milligrams of that. So that makes you, you have to take two and a half pieces of that gum to get the amount of CBD you're getting from this drink right here. And we got a test booster. So what is what else is in its recovery drink? This is what I've got to see. Uh, full spectrum CBD at a dose of 25 milligrams. You're talking the Kill Cliff one? Yeah, 15 calories per can, no sugar, naturally flavored. Um, I'm not seeing what all the profile on it is. It's available for purchase August 1st, so I should see an ingredient panel somewhere. Well, so so it's a post-workout thing? Is that what you're saying? Recovery? That's what it says. 25 milligrams is CBD, B vitamins, electrolytes, keto-friendly. Yeah, There's that buzzword we love. Yeah. If you, because, like, I could see, okay, if you want to use CBD as a way to just, I don't know, calm down after your workout, but then at the same time, if it is an anti-inflammatory, is that really a good idea, too? So Correct. I just don't see any. Man, dude, this is bad. This is really bad. Like, I can't. Yeah, it's dark times for the industry. You would think after the Olympia, there would be, like, a swell of new products capitalizing on the momentum of the uh, expo, but... No, there's not. I will say this: um, Superhuman Supreme Alpha Lion. <clears throat> besides, besides the theanine in it, it's a pretty cool product, man. This is this is actually a good one. It's on like page fourteen before I finally found something that was any good. I think it's on page three. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, you, yeah, it's down below. I was gonna get your thoughts on the uh, Coca Cola energy drink announcement. I will, we'll get that next. <laughs> Okay, the Alpha Lion there, Superhuman Supreme. So is this supposed to be, oh, it's a limited edition pre-workout. Yep. Um, 300 milligrams of caffeine, 200 milligrams of 2-amino isoheptane, which is uh, DMHA for you out there. 200 milligrams of NN-dimethylphenethylamine citrate, which is the alkaloid enteria durensis that gets us all that happiness and excitement and intense rage. Oh, that's the big guy. Uh, yeah. 100 milligrams of Infinergy, 75 milligrams of N-methyltyramine, 7 grams of citrulline malate, 1 gram of taurine, 750 of nitrosagene, which is half the clinical dose, 100 milligrams of S7, 3.5 grams of beta-alanine, 2 grams of betaine, 350 of L-theanine. Fuck that ingredient. I that dose in a pre-workout. <laughs> Stupid. Right. Um, just lower the stems then. Just lower the yep. stems. Don't do that. Yeah. So, right. There's obviously some things that I don't care for. Um, but at the same time, I know that they, here's the other thing I do know about Alpha Line. This helps too, that they're, they're very, they communicate with me quite a bit. They do a lot of testing because I know that they took out Vaso 6 in this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, they upped the, the price, dose. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, right. The risk and reward, I guess, is yeah. the whole thing. But, um, they do a lot of testing, so I don't know. I, I'm sure it's going to be, even with a theanine in there, it's going to be a high. I mean, just that stim blend is pretty, oh. it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Three and a half grams of beta alanine. I would, I would rather them take that 500 milligrams of beta alanine, knock that out, and put it in a full 2.5 
of betaine. Instead of just two grams is, is a weird dose. Either put mm -hmm. 1.25 in there or 2.5. But don't just give me some weird half dose. Yeah, and I think, well, and a lot of it is too, is this just looks so good because everything else looks so shitty. Yeah, yeah, and I would agree with that. <laughs> so I know you are not a huge energy drink guy, but Coca-Cola is the biggest freaking soft drink in the history of mankind. So do you, do you think them releasing an energy drink is going to do anything? No. No, because they don't, I, I guarantee they don't know how to do it right. Um, actually, I just bought two cases of America energy drinks. Whoa, whoa. Ju wait, Justin just bought energy drinks. Holy shit. Yeah, well, my, and my wife really likes them too. The, the, worst, the worst thing that happened was I love the America energy, uh, the victory one, the cream soda. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I'm not really a cream soda fan. I was like, perfect, right? Perfect. Same but then she tried soda either, and I love. Then she tried soda. it. Yeah, she tried it, and she loves it. And I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> <laughs> there goes your drink. Yep. Now we got to buy twice as much. But um, yeah, they. Uh, I just don't. I don't see Coca Cola investing the money um, into what it would take to actually make a halfway decent energy drink. They're just going to put some caffeine in there and some bullshit, like like energy drinks sort of used to be, and how we're starting to see some some energy drinks that actually have some inclusions that might actually benefit you outside of just the caffeine. Yeah. They're not good. They're not going to do that. Yeah. There's only 114 milligrams of caffeine per can and it's a 12 ounce can. So. And guarana and B vitamins. It's like rewind the clock 10 years ago to energy drinks that we, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. They're not, there's not going to be any, any cool stuff in there that there's a million things on the market right now that smaller companies are doing that, blow this away i mean yeah people will buy it just because coca-cola energy but not not sports nutrition people they won't buy this stuff i don't Correct. think ignite nutrition loads and iso up protein powder is there anything exceptional about this 25 grams of protein no it's just a way isolate two flavors chocolate and vanilla limitless nutrition yeah, i saw that did product. you try did you try the Legion uh, protein bars? No, I've only tried uh, Pulse, their pre-workout. The older version, not the most recent edition. I'm a big fan of Legion. I love what they do, um, just in general. But they, so they sent me some of their protein bars, and they were very good, but man, did they tear my stomach up. Really? I've, I've, I have not had a protein bar do that to my stomach. I don't think ever, honestly. Even like cheap, shitty ones it used to be. Um, I was super bummed because they are really good, and I like them. I like to support um, them. It kind of had – it's got 20 grams of protein, 38 grams of carbs. You know, it's kind of a meal. Yeah, it's 8 grams of whey isolate, 7 grams of concentrate, 3 grams of hydrolyzed whey, and 6 grams of pea protein isolate for its protein breakdown. Let me see what the uh, sweeteners and fillers in there are, or if they're using one of those uh, fibers that just kind of could be yeah, giving you a rough go. Uh, let's see, we got the protein one, we just went through that. Chicory root fiber, that, I mean, if you have too many of those, that can tear some people up, because that's what they used to use in those fiber one bars uh, about 10 years ago. Vegetable glycerin, brown rice flour, peanut butter confectionery wafers. Soluble corn fiber, isomaltulose, palm oil, water, peanuts, peanut butter, chocolate confectionery wafers, nonfat dry milk, soy lecithin, cocoa, sugar, natural fiber. Maybe it's just an overload on the... Uh, well, shit, mm -hmm. each bar has 10 grams of fiber in it, and the vast majority of that is going to be coming from the chicory root fiber. So I would and say that's, that's probably too. it. I, I just, I, I've, you know, I've had lots of protein bars, and I just, for whatever reason, these ones just really, I was super bummed. Yeah. Because you know, I was like, man, I, but they were very good. Yeah. And I like how they, they transparently list out the, different amounts of protein in there. So I think that's cool. That's a first in the protein bar market, at least to my knowledge. Yep. They are um, definitely one of the more transparent, like uh, educational brands that I've come across. Yeah. And I, like I think you're having, you're having Mike on the show, right? Yes. Mike and I are uh, filming a podcast next Tuesday. So I might bust ass and get that uploaded that same day that we recorded. If not, it'll be up on Wednesday of next week. So, and uh, I just spoke to their editor in chief. Yes. Uh, on Wednesday. Tuesday, on Tuesday, uh, Army. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ermy was like the first person I talked to from there. Yeah, um, really good guy. It's the first time I've talked to him. We had a, we yeah. had a Skype call to outline some potential uh, things of doing some article writing over there for them. Uh, so, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, look for that to hopefully pop up within the month. Yeah, Mike's a big deal. And like I said, he's an awesome guy. Definitely tell him uh, tell him I said hi. He's, Justin uh, says what's up. Yeah, yeah, he's a good dude. Um, that's why, again, I was so bummed because I would love to just – buy those and support those guys and, mm-hmm. and what they do but man it just ripped my stomach up maybe i'll have to try these these ones just just in case just to see <laughs> maybe it's just a bad batch maybe it was just a bad batch yeah um, and I, I'll, overall i like what legion does and muscle for life and all of them i just that that 350 that that one-to-one dose of caffeine the theanine and their pre-workout man it it just flatlines me when i've tried it and the the, the stevia flavoring isn't i'm not super crazy about it it's one of the better stevia products i've tried I'm just I'm not nuts about the uh the flavoring overall. Yep. Yeah, inspired has a oh yeah, we did we talk about the Lenny and Larry cookies last time? What a pile of shit those things are. Yes, I think we, did, we we did, we did touch, touch on upon those. Or we, yeah, or I don't know, man. Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of uh So uh here's the interesting maybe an interesting topic we can talk about. So Build fast formula that makes basal blitz. Right, they have a new flavor of full blitz coming. Yeah. Have you tried full blitz or basal blitz? No, I have not. I think they're in Texas. Are they? Yeah, I think oh. so. They're good dudes too. Um, big fan of them. They basal blitz is one of those just very affordable, very reliable, very consistent uh, pump products with the patented nitrates in them. Yeah. And the odd thing. It, it makes sense, but it, I think it's a little confusing for people is that they, so they release full blitz is their pre and it's, it's the vaso blitz formula, but then they add some DMAE and some caffeine and some yoga B. So a lot of people are confusing it and they were stacking them together and then you're getting five, four grams of arginine nitrate and a you, lot you're bordering so, on hyperten- hypotension, hypotension. Right. So I thought that was a little confusing that they did that. But at the same time, it's still kind of a cool product. And I do like Vaso Blitz quite a bit. So they are, they're sending me their new, I'm actually getting it tomorrow, but I might be gone before it shows up. But they, um, they wanted me to check out the new flavor. I was like, well, you know, I'm a flavor guy. So <laughs> but it's yeah, a cool product. That, 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 I wonder why. You would, I mean, I understand you have a successful non-stim formula, and then you just want to add some stims to it. But I yeah, think kind of weird. a bigger disclaimer needs to be mentioned that hey, don't stack these two together. Yeah, they because they had asked me, they're like, "Well, do you have any like suggestions?" I was like, "You might want to call it like fully loaded vaso blitz, or have vaso blitz in the title, and and add, that way people can make that connection." Because when you call vaso blitz and full blitz. Stack right. Oh, that's stem and that's non stem. Put them together, and then we take it. Whereas, right. like, if you saw basal blitz in the name of the other one, you might. But then again, at the same time, like, in you know, to their credit, <laughs> like, well, if you just look at the fucking label, and <laughs> but yeah, that puts onus on the consumers, which you know, I I think people should always understand what the hell they're putting in their body before they take a pre workout. But I realize that's asking a lot of humankind. Yes, that's, uh, <laughs> and I didn't. Ron Kramer did not comment on this product. So. Oh damn! Also, I would so like I to know, see man. if they. I mean, it, I would have also liked to have seen possibly if they could have uh, maybe attacked the pumps from a different angle. You know, have one of the formulas be like nitrate based, and the other one could be like citrulline and vaso six based, or something like that, or nitrosogene or uh, vaso. And you can't put vaso six in there. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. You can't have vaso six and nitrates. <laughs> Uh, maybe do S7. No, I'm not going to support uh, S7. Screw that ingredient, too. Man. Glycerol so, or something. Yeah. You know, I went back and refreshed Stack's homepage. Oh, yeah. I, I knew you'd see it. God, I hate Muscle Farm. <laughs> if there's... Okay, so if there's anything to rival CBD, keto... BCAA and to make me like physically like get nauseous it would be muscle farm has put together a completely naturally flavored version of its BCA naturally flavored muscle farm BCA 
is a combination of words that could elicit an exorcist-like response from me. <laughs> vegan sourced too. Don't don't forget that. For, they're vegan friendly amino acids as well. Right. You mean from so from corn or soy, yeah, soy or whatever yeah. it is? Yeah. If that's much I better. guarantee if I asked them where they get their aminos, like wh- where the sourcing is from, they wouldn't know. Let's say it's from a vegan. It's vegan source, so they just yank it right out of a vegan's arm. That's all. I hate muscle farm. They here's hate an, me too. Here's an interesting Which, conundrum. To their credit, they, they, they're not a fan of mine either. So if a, if a vegan, dogs are by nature supposed to be eating meat. They are carnivores by nature, and you know kibble and all that is not natural for dogs to eat, but you know we... we created it for them to eat that do you think vegans since they're looking out for the, the best interests of animals do you think they feed their dogs actual meat since that is the best thing for them or not no i think they uh feed them muscle farm naturally flavored bcas <laughs> or pea protein powder like some pea protein powder too well you know what and it's funny like speaking of vegans i, I don't want to pick on vegans too much but i had someone um Asked me the other day on one of my Q and A's about, hey, can you recommend a, a good vegan, whatever it is? And my response to him was, I was like, look, and he wasn't a subscriber, right? So my, my time is money, and I said, you're the one choosing to be the pain in the ass here. So <laughs> I said, you go, you go find it, and then come ask me if what I think about it. I was like, if you think I'm going to scour the internet because you're choosing to be Pain in the ass. I was like, "You're wrong." Yep. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, if we're gonna go out to dinner and someone says I'm vegan, I was like, "Well, that's your problem. We're gonna go here. If you want to go somewhere else and pick something up, go ahead." Uh, yeah. That that. So, say you're hosting a dinner party and one of the people is vegetarian or vegan. Why does everybody else have to bend their will to the vegan? Just the exactly. vegan should nut up and just snack on crackers or something before they come. Exactly. Yeah, you're the one making the choice to be difficult. So. Which is, that's fine. Hey, make your choice. Do yeah. what you got to do. But you conform to what we're, I'm not, I, no, no, no. This is what we do, normal stuff. So yeah. if you want. Sam and I went like to a uh, barbecue festival last year in Austin. It was the annual uh, Austin Barbecue Festival or Brisket Cook-Off, whatever it was called. I bet that was phenomenal. It was, it was wonderful. Holy shit. It was, it was amazing. Burnt ends. Great from Mueller's Barbecue. Thank you very much. It was wonderful. Mm. Um, got to try a little bit of Franklin's because I'm not going to go stand in line for three hours in downtown Austin for wait for somebody's barbecue. Nobody's food is that good worth standing in line for three hours for. I don't care what you say. Um, so we just go to this barbecue True. festival and you can try Franklin's Barbecue right there instead of waiting in line all day. And you get to try 36 other forms of brisket and pulled pork as well. Yes, please. And uh, there was like a, a little picket line of 30 vegans right by the entry gate doing holding meat. Meat is murder. Shut up. No, I'm serious. I'm thinking we're all in here having a great time. You're the ones out there sweating your asses off being miserable and pissed off about something. It's just, you know, oh, do, do you actually think you're making a difference with that? Well, let's let's come back. Let's let's swing back to, to the positive. Let's start talking about something positive because I got something. I got something positive to talk about. What you got? So I've I've heard I think it might be possible that maybe like nine maybe nine days from now we might be like hanging out. Whoa, whoa! This is gonna be. Can the Earth can can one place contain all of that supplement knowledge? <laughs> can one place contain all of that? Once Eddie shows up too then it's going to tip over yep eddie will be there tj will be there uh so if, if for all of you that aren't aware the apollon nutrition all-star seminar is october 12th at the uh, apollon gym in new jersey uh i'll be there uh tj from fitness deal news will be there eddie from muscle players will be there i believe as well uh, a bunch mm-hmm. of big name bodybuilders will be there kevin lavroni uh rich gaspari juan diesel morel um and our man justin has just announced he's in attendance now as two well, you know, so what happened, we're actually going to New Jersey this weekend. And when I originally saw the Apollon nutrition thing, that was before I'd spoken to Robbie there. I didn't know you were going. Um, someone's like, hey, uh, you should go. There's certain reviewers are going to be there. And I was like, well, thanks, but no thanks. I don't really, go- <laughs> really want to go hang out with them. But uh, I was talking to Eddie, and then Eddie introduced me to Robbie from mm-hmm. Apollon Nutrition. And and Robbie said, you, you speak fairly high me, highly of me, so I appreciate that. But nope. I got to talking to him. What an awesome freaking guy that guy is. Dude, Robbie is the man. 
I um, love that guy. Yes, he is. I, the, the feelings are mutual, and he was a uh, yeah. He's he's amazing. Yeah, he's awesome. We've been talking to each other for like three days, and we're like best friends. So, um, and then when I found out you were going, and so I was talking to my wife, and I said, you know, and even she actually said it before I said it. I said, you know how we weren't because we didn't want to you know make that trip two weekends in a row. Yeah. She's like, and I told her you were going, and then she's like, well, we we, we have to go. <laughs> and I said, and I said, yeah. I said, so probably what we'll do is we'll just drive up like one day, drive up, and then I'm not like huge on the bodybuilding stuff anyway, so we'll just yeah. probably come up and we'll we'll meet up with you guys at some point, have a drink and or Perfect. six or seven of them and. And hang out because um, sounds good to me. Can't miss out. Can't miss on that, on that opportunity. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun. I think that's gonna be a hell of a good time. I'll get in town uh, Thursday, a week from today. Actually, I'll, my plane leaves at three thirty in the afternoon. I land in Jersey uh, at Newark Airport. I guess around eight o'clock at night next Thursday night, Eastern Standard Time. So uh, <laughs> Newark Airport at eight o'clock at night, man, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure that'll be a, a blast. You ever been to in Newark time. Airport? I've never been to New Jersey. No. <laughs> I've never been to New Jersey or New York. I've been to Boston one time, and that's been the uh, the the totality of my northeastern United States experience. New York's pretty bad. Um, Yikes! I like Jersey though. Jersey's fun. Um, it is what it is. You know, yeah. there's there's a lot of stereotypes that are very earned uh, in New Jersey. <laughs> but no, that'll be a good time. Uh, we're excited. We're going to. Um, we're going to move some stuff around. We're, we're going to go. Like, we're going to be there. Even if it's just, we make a, it's just like a three hour drive for us, maybe. Even if it's drive up for three hours, hang out for, even if it's 10 minutes, give you a hug, turn around, go back. Like, but we'll make more. Hey, man, that's, but, that, that's amazing. That is a, you just made my day by telling me that. I know we were talking okay. about the other day you said that you, you, you know, you, you found out about that and you, you didn't, you were kind of on the fence, but I'm, uh, I'm really glad to hear that you're going. That's, that's an yeah. awesome, awesome thing. We, we wouldn't happen. miss it, man. We wouldn't miss it. We wouldn't miss out on an opportunity to come see you. Fantastic. And then, you know, Eddie's going to be there. We love Eddie. Um, yeah. And Robbie's such an awesome dude. And Also, I have to go up there and pick up some, some hooligan because, damn, I love that stuff. <laughs> You've used it damn. a couple more times, I'm, I'm assuming, since only then. Use it that, I only use it one time. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you know Matt from 5-Minute Sup- Supplement Reviews. Yep. Matt sent me, Matt gets some weird shit, so he, he'll send it to me. Oh, yeah, 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 because he said he was going to send you, um, was it Immortal? Yeah, I was going to give give Matt over at uh, Supplement Reviews a shout out because, uh, yeah, he contacted me after our uh, podcast with Nick did it yeah. and said, hey, I heard that you've never tried any of uh, Nick's pre workout so I've got a scoop of Immortal and a scoop of uh, Formula X still around, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I even I didn't try that one. He said I'm gonna send you a scoop of each, and it'll be in the mail by the end of the week. And I said yes. Yeah, because be that's that's why. And I'm gonna meet Matt here in a little bit, in about 20 minutes or a half hour, and we're gonna do a little something together. But he's Matt's a good dude. I like Matt because he's. And I told him I was like, you know, it's it's kind of genius. You think how can you like do something different in the supplement review game? I was like five minute videos man it's all people need and he does um he's come a long way he does a really good job so yeah. matt's a good dude awesome well, he yeah. gets a lot of, gets a lot of crazy shit too <laughs> i'm sure yeah i mean that there, there will always be that demographic of people that love the uh the crazy stem so you got people that are uh willing to go out and try it and see you know test their cardiovascular system then uh let's go for it so you said next week we'll just have to do the podcast a little bit early yeah, we can do it Everything. early. We can record it early Thursday, like in the morning time, or we can do it on Wednesday, whichever one you want to. We can um, do Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, like I was telling people, I was like, you know, you don't normally want to travel to New Jersey two weeks in a row, but we're going to travel to Jersey two weeks in a row. Supplement engineer is worth it. There we go. Supplement engineer is definitely worth well, it. And, so the, we're and, be and the mad Russian that is Robbie at Apollo. I know. I can't <laughs> wait. I'm excited. Um, I am too. I asked Ben... Ben from Price Plow, if he was going, because he's from that area yep. and stuff, and he was just up there. But he said he has a he has a meet that day. He's judging, so he can't uh, go. Ah, powerlifting, yeah. And that's Saturday, right? Saturday is the actual event. Yeah, the seminar is Saturday, and then I'm coming home on a uh, Sunday is when I'm flying home. And you've met Eddie from Muscle Players? No, I have not met Eddie. Just through uh, internet communications. So I've not met Eddie in person. I've never met TJ in person. I've met Robbie in person. 
before. You know, he's flown down to Austin one time before we saw him, and then when right. Sandy and I were up in Baltimore for our uh, ten year anniversary, he drove in the night that we landed, and he went out to dinner with us. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, that's kind of a hike, you know, not an easy drive. Um, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Robbie yeah. is a hell of a guy, man. He is he's an amazing human being. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I've been talking to him uh, a little bit lately, and I love and what I've been telling people too is that you know you get this hardcore, edgy sort of vibe, but when you take his products and you take like these these idiots that just throw these disgusting stimulants into a blend together, mm -hmm. you can take and Ben actually nailed this the other day. He's like, dude, there's studies at 750 milligrams of caffeine for powerlifting and ex extreme performance, but you don't want this this bullshit where all these ugly ass stems are thrown in here on top of it and making you sick and all sorts of stuff. He's like, but if you get a, a really well put together product, like I think hooligan is, that's a legit stimulant, high stim product that, that is, I'll say, I, I think it's healthy. I think it's good for you. Like I think every now and then it's good for you to have a jolt like that. And, Cause yeah. it's not, uh, it's not something that, right. It's not a drug thing. It's not like a crack hit like people say oh that pre-workout hit it's like it's just a lot of caffeine done right. in a really good way so i think he separates himself from the pack that he knows what he's doing he puts things together but also makes them very powerful but also safe feeling like you know what i mean where it's not not necessarily comfortable but it's like you're not you're not concerned that your freaking heart's gonna blow up like some of that shit yeah and i know he goes down to the manufacturing facility a lot because he's called me several times from the actual facility saying hey I'm sitting here with the uh, the guy right now. We want to do a formula tweak. What do you think about this versus this, or what what would you recommend in this case? And you know, it's he that's it's reassuring to hear that some company owners are still willing to go that extra mile and source out and deal face to face with the manufacturer and get in their face and say, hey, you're screwing me over on this, or this is what I paid for. Or, let's tweak this and let's run the samples now. Yeah, because he said we had like just one brief conversation. I made a comment. A, a general comment about the industry and he's like you and i are going to get along just fine <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> like, you and i are going to be just fine so yeah I'm excited. buddy it's going to be a good time and uh yeah man i'm excited so this will be it'll be fun we'll, we'll be uh we'll rendezvous next week for our weekly chat and uh then we'll get to meet up in person long overdue this will be two for years sure. in the making it's crazy man and i love it so yeah class. yeah we're we're obligated there's no way i'm going to miss it so doesn't matter, hell or high water, we will at least make an appearance in some way, shape, or form, but likely, I would like to say we'll we'll stay, you know, the night, Saturday night, that way we don't have to drive home or anything like that, yeah. but we'll see how that goes. Cool. And uh, I had the guys from Titan Arena contacted me, uh, the last little bit of news, after uh, we got tagged in that unicorn flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Devin they started the following me too, flavor. but they didn't contact me. Um, they contact me, so I may have some of their proteins to review. Uh, Most good. By the time we I mean, get around, so yeah. Uh, just by their marketing, I'm like, I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, thick shake, thick shake series. So I'm curious to see what in the world that they're putting in there to make it super thick. What Basically. else? I'm trying to think if I. I tried a lot of stuff lately. It was like I got a rush of goodies. Oh, I tried uh, I Prevail Subs has a new uh, sleep formula they're working on, but I'll get I'll talk more about that maybe next week because I only got to try it once. But yeah, lots of cool stuff, man. Oh, this um that was the other one. Was this like a pro that complete health? Yeah, the hundred and forty dollar supplement. Yeah. Yeah, things a beast. What I've been doing every day is sort of like going ingredient by ingredient on my stories and just talking to people about what this stuff actually does. That way you don't ever, especially when it comes to a product that expensive, you don't ever want to buy it and not know why or or how you're going to use it. Like, I think I could probably, based on the dosages that are in there and based on my lifestyle habits, I could probably get three months out of it. Yeah. And whereas if you're a PED user, you're going to want to use it a month at a time. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. I like to see, and I know I mentioned this before, whether it's valid that it's that price, whether all this other stuff, I'd like to see a quality company push against, you know, the, the norm a little bit. That takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of balls for a, a company owner to, to do that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. Sweet. All right, man. Well then, uh, 
know you need to get rolling, and I'm gonna get back to work on a few things here. So we'll uh we'll put a bow on this one and call it done. Amen, brother. Good chatting as always. We'll uh we'll talk soon. All right, buddy. Have a good one. See you.